Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about public bathroom CFM calculation. All right. But in this case, we're going to, make, we're going to do the calculations for the men's bathroom. Okay. All right. So let's get into it. So in the previous video, what we did is we were explaining that we have three options. So it's the local code IMC 2015 or ASHRAE, depending on the location. And then we generated this kind of table and we did it analytically too. Okay. So what I'm going to do now in the video is the following. So we're going to erase this part and we're going to do the calculations for the men's restroom. Okay. All right, so this is going to be pretty much a straightforward, but I want, I'm not going to do the same thing. I'm not going to show the same uh, pr process. This is going to be a different video, but we're going to obtain the same result. OK, so let's do that in here. And then what we're going to have is the following. OK, so this is actually not WF. This was actually WC. So it, it's not like Wells Fargo. It's like <laughs> WC water closet. OK, so we're going to put WC. All right, so now we're going to go to the men's uh, room. Okay, so when we're going to put in here, room is men's. Oh, there we go, men's. All right, so what's the square footage? The square footage is going to be 120, 120. Okay, what's the CFM per square feet? Uh, in this case, what kind of features do we have in here? Features, I'm going to, again, I'm going to put this in pink. We're going to have this toilet number one, toilet number two, and one uni urinal, right? Okay, so how much CFM per coat do I need in order to exhaust um, this uh, in order to comply with code? The CFM is 70 CFM per feature. And in the, my previous video, I explained that feature is the water closet, the toilet, and the urinal, urinal. Okay, we don't have any showers, so we're fine. So in other words, how many fixtures do we have? And here I'm gonna have one, two, three. So we're gonna put three fixtures, right? Number of fixtures, three. Okay, so let's continue filling up this table. So in here, we're gonna have CFM per square feet. No, uh, code doesn't say that. So, uh, so we don't wanna get confused in here. What is CFM per square feet? The New York City Mechanical Code 2022 indicates that CFM per square feet is gonna be for the custodian actually. This is the janitor's closet or the custodian's closet. So in there we're gonna need one CFM per square feet, but we're gonna see that in code and maybe in, in other videos, okay? Okay, by code we determine that the CFM per fixture is gonna be 70, okay? Number of fixtures, one, two, three. So in total, we have 70 times three. Let's put in here 70 times three. And then the design CFM would be 200 and, uh, 210. Okay. So for this space, what we need is, I'm going to put this in, again in pink, 210 CFM of exhaust. All right. And remember, this exhaust means intermittent because if it wasn't intermittent, it would be like instead of 70, you're going to you're going to have to put 50, 50 times 350, 150 CFM working or running all the time uh, when there is people there, like there, there's some there is a schedules, right? an occupied mode, unoccupied mode, so that one. Okay, so now what is different in this video is this calculation was kind of easy. So what we're gonna do is, this calculation is based on New York City Mechanical Code, but however, what if you wanna make it based on IMC 2015, because that also works, that also applies. So how do we find this code? So basically based on IMC, oh, this is exhaust. So what I'm going to do in here in order to make it better. So no, this is fine. So we're going to do this. Um, IMC, we're going to do this based on IMC. See, IMC 2015. Okay. Because which is also applicable. How do we find, how do we find that IMC 2015? What we have to do is we go to Google. Okay. Let's go to Google. Uh, what is it right here? So in Google, what we had is app codes, right? And I was explaining in the previous video, we have another option, which is the digital ICC codes. Okay, ICC codes. 
when you put the International Code Council, that's the ICC code, okay? You can put also in the second one, whichever goes. Okay, so if we click on that, you're gonna be able to find the codes for every single location. So in this case, what we're gonna do is, uh, let's do international codes, let's put New York City. New York City, there we go. We have New York City building code, or in this case, we're doing the international mechanical code. 2015. All right, so we need we want to find International Mechanical Code 2015. What do we have in here? Uh, except there you go. So once you do that, this is these are digital resources. See, it's ICC, ICC Safe Work. This is the catalog, but this is digital. So in here you have a 2015 International Mechanical Code. Let's go check. You click in there, and there in there. Oh, actually this cost. Uh, this has some price attached to it. Let's see. Yeah, so this is kind of sur surprising, right? But, you know, I make these videos so that way is whenever we, we, we encounter a problem, we need to solve it. So I'm doing it like live, right? Kind of. Okay, so in this case, uh, you know, you have two options, either to pay for this amount or also um, this is available online. I'm sure when you buy this, you have different like commentary or explanation of the code. That makes sense. But if you just want the code code itself, let's go back again and put in Google IMC 2015 PDF. Yeah, that's what I usually do. All right. So IMC 2015 PDF or see we have up codes. We have this. To International Mechanical Code, the same website. There we go. We have the code available. Okay. So in the code 2015 International Mechanical Code, you're going to be able to find all the chapters. The chapter that we're trying to use is uh, chapter four, ventilation. Under ventilation, we have different sections. Section number 403. See? Section 403, mechanical ventilation. Under section 403, we have, uh, let's see, 403, we have outdoor air and local exhaust airflow rates, okay? So local exhaust air airflow rates, there we go, let's go back down, there we go. So we have in here the minimum ventilation rates, table 403311, okay? So we're, it's, it's gonna be the same table, like the New York City Mechanical Code 2022, but if you that's why if you want to resort to this, that's totally fine, okay? So we go down, we go down, and then you have in here the public spaces. There we go. Toilet room, toilet rooms, see, public spaces, toilet rooms, public G. In here it says 50 and 70 E. The E means that you're having per water closet or general, as we were explaining in the previous video. See, it's pretty much the same. CFM square feet, per, CFM per square feet, and then uh, we have in here uh, 70, 50, and 70. Uh, and then we go to the lower part. So 70 is for intermittent and 54, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, continuous, right? It's the same. So in the video, we're just exploring a different avenue, another resource on, on validating your calculation, because as I mentioned, you have three options to validate your calculation. And then in here, see, E is rates per water closet or urinal, okay? And the same thing in here, in, in here it says, the lower rates shall be permitted only where the exhaust system is designed to operate, operate continuously while occupied. Okay, so it's pretty much the same. So now in the next video, what we're gonna be doing is, so since we have this already, 2015, and this is available online, Okay, this is available online. In the next video, we're gonna be making the calculations for the women's restroom, okay? So because also I wanted to uh, take advantage of this video of um, sometimes an, another uh, person in my personal email, they've been asking like, uh, can you explain about the RCP and then what is the AFF? So as you can see in here, this is 10 feet, zero inches. 10 feet, zero inches, AAF, see, A dot AF. 
So what does that mean? So that's going to be the ceiling. Actually, I'm going to put in here very quickly a bob, see a bob finished floor. That's what it stands for, a bob finished floor. So in other words, this is giving me the total height. Let, let's put in here ceiling height, ceiling height. Okay, so the ceiling height. And what's the reason? What's the reason of the ceiling height? Because you want to know, so this is the finished floor and this is the ceiling and this is the ceiling plenum, right? So in here, you're going to put your exhaust fan, see? And then this is your duct, this is going out, for example, there you go. There you go. And then you're exhausting it, for example, this is going to be 210 CFM. Okay, so the distance in here between the floor and the ceiling is going to be called the AAF. See, above finished floor. So this is going to be 10 feet, 0 inches. That's AAFF. Okay, so in the architectural drawings, that's what they are going to get. Okay, all right. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you did. If you did, hit the like button always. That helps a lot and subscribe. All right, I'll see you in the next video. In the next video, we'll be doing Ashray 62.1 2016. Thank you so much.